Thank you, Robert Milby. I told you, boys and girls, that's a real deal. And what we also do in tandem is that we put out many, many, many emails and we keep adding to the addresses, just alerting you to what is happening. Doesn't mean that you're conscripted, but you do have the opportunity to join us and guess what? Freely express yourself. Short of setting yourself on fire and damaging the edifice that we are yeah. fortunate to be in, all through the upper valley, I wouldn't allow that. You can do anything. And we've had anything, and it has been documented. And some of the anything we've had has proven itself to be rather remarkable. Okay. This next young lady. God, how long have we known each other now? <laughs> She's like a daughter to me. Um, she's got her own podcast. She's starting now to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous mm. people. Because once you have the courage to cross into the crosshairs of that portal, as they say, the door goes both ways, doesn't it? And this is the Wild West. Beatrice Harris has a very interesting view of the world. And it's, it's one of a civilian and an activist simultaneously, there is a bifurcation here. But someone boots on who's in the street, walking, looking, smelling the neighborhood. And the neighborhood can be this big, or it can be our entire nation, which ultimately will mean, not beyond our own egocentric thought of just the United States, the world itself. Because the bottom line, boys and girls, the sooner we accept the fact that we are humanists on a planet that we belovedly call Earth, and thus we are Earthlings. There is one race, there is one religion, there is one consciousness. And the sooner we get into group mind, not that we think the same under some totalitarian edict, but that we freely embrace the potential of the synergy and what we can maximize in going into multi-dimensional consciousness and get ourselves out of this present morass. There it is. Well, without further ado, Beatrice Harris. own awakening. We're starting to learn that. Cause hopeless. Affordable is a distant victory. Change is not of a true benefit where everyone prospers. Everywhere you see it, marches, protests, and standoffs, fueled with an indomitable spirit of humanity, the soul finally screaming, I have had it. It's a beautiful gesture. We see it on our devices, reactions all abound. Of all the years we, as the human race, have fought like this, there is something you may not want to hear. It's the most hurtful, offensive, and downright savage comment that you may never want to deal with, ever. But here it is. You're feeding the wrong wolf. <laughs> Your cause is just fodder for the ultimate goal, exterminated by your own humanity. Yes, it's exactly what I'm saying. Your need for being a part of something great is what's going to destroy the human race. Scattered across this terrarium are hubs that are moving ahead with the Great Reset. Let me be the one to tell you that this bodes ill for our humanity, for us. We are still following them straight into the bottomless pit of the ultimate hive mind. The crimes against us are so savage, so terrifying, that we run back to the indoctrination that set us on this path to, be, to start with. 
Truly, I stand for all when I say that everyone has the right to decide their own future. This forced fate that they have always had in place will only serve their means, not yours. Here, here, Prada. Um, this is dedicated to anyone who has a loved one who's suffering from Alzheimer's. This is called Edge of Dementia. The morning dew is so beautiful, every day I hear this. Coffee, tea, or water. Don't you remember? I'm your, insert relation. Take your medicine. I know it makes you feel bad, but if you refuse to take it, everyone you know will be sad. Stop yelling at me. Here, take this. I give you a piece of memory. You call it a piece of shit. Where do you want to go? No, that's not there anymore. Look, I'm sorry, but that's gone too. But they still have that store that we used to go to. Years have eroded what was and what could have been. I walk with a broken heart because you'll never remember when. Mm -hmm. This is a two-part, our first part. Zombified. <laughs> Eat, sleep, consume, watch, no production, don't fucking touch. No sun, no air, no real food, no fun, no laughter, no music, no questions, no fighting. School, work, church, home. No friends, no bar nights, no trips, no starlight. Do everything timely and start all over again. No real humans, no resistance. No freedoms, no liberty. Fake food, fake water, fake medicine, no real cure. No practices, no academia. Don't forget to go against your government or religious cult is to go against the hope for humanity. Anyone who says otherwise is an enemy. Join us to destroy the one hope you could possibly have to free yourself completely. You don't have to free yourself. Why would you say something like that? Um, that's not true because they didn't say it. That's whack. Please go away. They said you would be like this. You must understand. I can't have you fighting back and jeopardizing their plans. Just do everything that they tell you and everything will go back to normal. What? It's not? No, they said that it will. Look, you're just a liar. You're just mad they are wealthy and you didn't have what it took and you never stayed healthy. Part two, stage fright. So that's how you wanna play. When the curtain goes up, while they are rehearsing, they screwed up your way, so you come at me with confusion and cursing. No, no, you wanted it so bad. And now that you got it, you're dissatisfied, shook, and mad. But when you saw the very same suffering, you turned away and said, oh, how sad. Well, I'm not the one who planned to rob you blind burying you in taxes and fines, and laughing at you when you can't pay for your car, and angering you so you go to the bar, or saddening you to the point of the grave, or talking to you like you live in a cave, and taking your children and turning them into slaves. That's their thing in their private estate. Look, I know it ain't easy. I'm stuck in a rut, and they're all too busy. They don't give a fuck. Seen all of us crying. They're pouring it up while we're out here dying. But that doesn't give you the green light that when shit get tough, you wanna troll and fight. Wanna talk about who I am and what I write. Huh, at least I'm not giving up. I will stand and fight. Because it ain't about you. 
or your likes. It's about the people and all the strife. It's about the truth and the power of life, the need for humanity to wake up and survive. Here, here, bravo. Uh, next one. <laughs> it's a little uh, adulterated. Did I fucking stutter? Except this piece of metamorphic stone that glows with the purple flames of truth and enlightenment. Follow the trail of debris of what is left of the old ways of simpler days. Those are now a distant memory, drenched in euphoric nostalgia, never to graze the center of your mind again. Take up the rod of fury energy and burst through the heartless follies of a dream that never came true. And if you manage to hear the sounds of the ancients, breathe in the flowing energies they give you. For the path to a humane soul is and always will be scattered along the astral road. Did I fucking stutter? For sure. Uh, this one <laughs> is a testament, my testimony, if you will. It's called Beyond the Chemicals. The truth about the quality of water has been revealed to the people. The ones who knew from the start are scrubbed out of the latest news. The ones who lost their health, the ones whose children will never be the once happy, the once healthy, the ones whose goals were ripped away. We take one day, one moment, for we have gone through so much. Time is far more precious to the ones whose day or night may be their last. These voices echo throughout the cities that left them behind when hell broke loose. The water is still toxic and unfit for the body. The doctors won't stand with the people. But the moments so dear to us, the moments where we can smile, where we can hug without pain, where food isn't so harsh on us, where we can get some sleep, where love is the greatest treatment and the little victories that mean the world to the affected ones. These are the moments that go beyond the chemicals. Okay. This one is called um, Throw It Away. For it is said in the history of Akashic scrolls of telling in the deepest confines of this hollow terrarium to the lost, it can be found that deep yearning for the whole truth of your existence, hungry for true purpose. But in the times of dark ambitions and fleeting desires, simple joys are missing. The war has begun but the masses are drenched in religious statehood. They have decided to take all of what they were gifted with from birth. They chose to just throw it away. And all I can say is that it hurts. Mm -hmm. This last one <clears throat> is called Resting Bitch. <laughs> my face is my face, no matter how you may see it. I rest my muscles and my jaw. You look at me with awe. Are you mad? No, I'm fine. Are you sure? Why would I lie? It's the same question all the time. Would you want to smile all the time while we have the absence of memories? Sublime. Smiles are beautiful, worthy to the act of, the feeling of, happiness. 
but I protect my joy like the security system of the high and mighty. Frowning? No. When good women show their joy, there are those that seek to ruin the heart of fulfillment for me. So I will remain that, for it is better than to be labeled that name, that label. So my deepest pools of pure jovial moments that I can protect until I rest for good. Bravo. Thank you all. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, and look up my podcast on Spotify, Slave Nation Cosmic Collision. Love and light. Bravo.